Today, about 150 local soldiers are saying goodbye to their families as they prepare to deploy to Afghanistan. They're part of the 878th Engineer Battalion with the Georgia National Guard. Barkley Bishop joins us live from Whole Life Ministries on Washington Road in Augusta. And Barkley, the departure ceremony is already underway. It started around 11 o'clock, but they're not going to actually board those buses until around 1.30. You know, many times when we do these sorts of stories, what we see is them getting on the buses, the tears while they say goodbye to their families. I had the opportunity to meet with one family, the captain of this battalion, and spend some time with his family as he packed the last of his bags and prepared to say goodbye. Yeah, the good helpers. It's crunch time. You're uh, getting different emotions. The babies are starting to realize what's going on, so it's a little sad. Now we have kids, so I have to be more concerned about how they're going to adjust versus how I'm going to adjust. I'm telling my friends he's going away for, to fight for our freedom. If he fights for our freedom, then nobody gets hurt. We'll be uh, clearing the roads for local nationals and coalition forces. It's dangerous. I know it's dangerous. This is his army suit, and he's getting ready to go out the door and get on the bus. I think all the soldiers are ready to go, and I think the wives have the toughest part, or I should say the spouses. I will put on that happy face, and I will um, share my true fears and sadness with my pillow when nobody's looking. Things we'll miss, um, you know, her kindergarten first year. <laughs> I think the initial period is going to be um, difficult. If we forget him, then we won't because we have our memories of daddy. I'm very proud of my husband, and I'm proud of the job that he's doing. We hope we'll be back uh, Christmas, hopefully. You are safe now. He's back at home watching TV. I love you, daddy. I hope you are safe. Just a wonderful family, one of 150 that are going to be saying goodbye today. Uh, no doubt that these families are not taking any moments for granted. And right now they're in a lunch uh, saying goodbye, spending some last few minutes, about an hour and a half from now. They'll be loading their bags onto those buses. They've got about a three, three days of travel before they head over to Afghanistan. Reporting live in Augusta, Barkley Bishop, WJBF News Channel 6. All right, Barkley, thanks so much, and we certainly wish all of those men and women well as they go overseas. Yeah, no question about that.